this is actually what my heart looks like. It's so fucking quirky. I wish I had some elaborate April Fool's prank for you, but I don't. Or don't have. It could happen at any moment during this video. Let's talk about March favorites. Here are some of the things that I really enjoyed during the month of March. First, yeah. You say yeah? You say yeah? You say yeah. This is a foundation that I've enjoyed very much. This is called Rainforest of the Sea. It's by Tarte. Look at that product shot. I have no fucking clue what the title actually means. Rainforest of the Sea. Maybe Tarte just got so sick of all the over-sexualized makeup names that they were like, fuck it, just put a nonsense on it. Don't be a chicken of the sea, time to be a rainforest of the sea. How sophisticated. This is water foundation. I don't know what that means either. For some reason I followed Tarte on Instagram and they started posting all of these photos of girls using this foundation and I really like Tarte's foundation so I got it myself and guess what, I really like it. But there is something about it that I do not like. This lid is like a, um, a pump, like you push it down and you like get the foundation and when you push it, it goes back in. Ooh. But I cannot grip this lid well enough to push down the button and so it just slides out of my hand. Oh, my dog is losing her damn mind. We're either getting a delivery or Goose tried too hard to understand what Rainforest of the Sea meant. Anyway, it's super lightweight. It goes on very smoothly. It doesn't feel like you're wearing any foundation. It covers pretty well. And it's got a lot of question marks to it. And that makes me like it more. Next, this! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hey, yes, I am. Speaking of blending foundation, it's this Beauty Blender by Real Techniques. Look at it. It's got a rounded normal beauty blender side and then kablammy. Whoa, rebellious. I choose music for a career instead of college teen side. I got this beauty blender off of Amazon Prime now because it was just there and I thought, I haven't been excessive enough lately, let's do this. And I really love it. I like the option of smashing something on my face that has different angles and I like the orange. The orange doesn't make it look as scummy when it's covered in scum. <laughs> Next! This! Yeah. 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 This is a bronzer by Too Faced called Chocolate Soleil, which I think translates to Chocolate Sun. Shame on you Too Faced for going into my dreams and stealing one of my ideas and using it for the name of your makeup product. I should be getting a back end on this. Insert your anal sex jokes here. <laughs> Insert Shut it down. This is a matte bronzer. Ooh, see it? Product shot. The thing I like the most about this is that it actually smells like chocolate. I mean, what, I'm a stereotype. I, I get it. Like, I get it. I get it, but this is great. And for all of you that have ever wanted to like lick your bronzer, now you have more of a reason to. Next! Yeah! Can you see ya? Can you see ya? Can you see it? This is a cream lip stain that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. It's from Sephora. Product shot. Oh. This is in the color Made in Italy, which I am not, so it's always nice to experience culture in various ways. You're made in Italy and I'm made in the factory where they produce cliche internet girls. It's like a corally color. Feels like it's gonna be nice for spring and summer because magazines tell us that these colors are nice for spring and summer. And it truly is a stain. It does not come off your lips, so that's something I really like because I am awful with lipstick. Lipstick provides a real, like, new layer of anxiety to my already really deep social anxiety. But thankfully, this cream lip stain is like a little bit of Vicodin on your lips. Nope, terrible, terrible, awful, incorrect metaphor. Next! Yeah! Say ya! Can say ya? Can y'all say ya? This is not the actual product. The actual product is installed in my house, but this is representational of it. My next favorite is a shower head. Yep. So, goodbye, any millennial that was watching this video. Thank you for your time. I know. I know. It's called Aroma Sense. I can't take credit for finding this. Someone else has brought it into my life. It's a luxury shower head. No, it doesn't do any of the weird, like, diddle in your private parts. Instead, it is a shower head in which you can put a scent cartridge so that when it is on, it 
creates an aroma. Aroma sense. It makes sense. That's not their tagline. And I'm not sponsored by this product at all. I just have enjoyed it. There is a lemon cartridge in my aroma sense in my shower right now, and it has changed the game. Everything smells like a very mild lemon scent, which is wonderful. It makes me feel like my bathroom's cleaner than it actually is. And the water pressure has actually increased on the shower head, which is wonderful because before it was not the best. Oh my god, what a spoiled idiot talking about water pressure. I'm this person now. Next! Yes! Not only am I showing you a shower head in this video, but I'm showing you a vacuum. Goodbye any millennial that stuck around thinking it might get better. I always say that I thought I became an adult the first time I bought myself an actual vacuum, which is true. That was a very intense experience, a very maturing experience. But now I think I'm a smart adult because I bought myself a handheld cordless vacuum for my house. I'm in phase two of adulthood, and this is a cheat code. It's the Shark Cordless vacuum. I got it at Target, I think for 40 or 50 bucks. And it comes with all of these attachments, or you can use it as is. It looks like the head of a camel. Wow, it really does. Or it looks like the head of a horse from medieval times. Oh no. But look, now it's a horse sticking on his tongue. <laughs> Let me be your aunt. It sits on a power dock so it charges up so you can just use it whenever you want. <laughs> look, now you look great. Cool. Is it next? This! You say it? You say it? You say it? <sighs> yep, let's talk about feng shui. Nikki Limo got me this book, and thank you, Nikki. I have finally gotten around to starting to read it, and I'm obsessed. Nikki and I, turns out, are like really into um, tarot and astrology. She got me this book called Move Your Stuff, Change Your Life. I started reading it last night, and I'm like so into it. I spend most of today feng shui different rooms of my house, and I'm so anxious to get done shooting this video so I can get back to feng shui. No offense to you, the one person that stuck around through the vacuum and the shower head. So feng shui, if you don't know, I'm gonna give you a terrible definition of what it is. It's Chinese, it's not religion, it's not spirituality, it's like a Chinese practice of organizing your home so that it provides energy for you in different areas of your life and putting the right colors, elements, things in the right areas with the right intentions that help give energy to different areas of your life. It's meant to create harmony and balance in your life and it's really based on your own interpretation of the basic principles of it. So it's very malleable and very flexible. This is all vague verbal garbage that I am spitting at you, but trust me, it's really interesting. I think it's cool. It's by Karen Roche Carter. My favorite part about this is that she tries to infuse humor in how she describes feng shui. And this is Karen. Look at that lady. Yeah, Karen, get it. It's kind of cheesy, but in like a very entertaining way to read. It's super easy to read and really easy to understand. If you are curious at all about feng shui or desperate to change something in your life that isn't working, why not? Move your stuff, change your life. All right, that's it for this episode of the f was that? <laughs> Thank Grace, it's Friday. Thank Grace, it's Friday. Thanks for watching. Um, Let me know what you've been liking this month and if you have any of the things that I have talked about. I'm sure millions of you are excited to finally have a safe place to talk about your favorite shower heads and vacuums. Welcome. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It would be really lovely if you did. And I will see you when I see you. I don't know. Weren't expecting a shower head to be the favorite of a girl wearing a hamburger shirt, were you? No, probably were. Okay.